What's going on guys? Uh, I'm just here making a quick video to show off my little build in uh, Gearblox. And the beta branch just came out with an with a update for engines. So I uh, figured why not show this off since it's pretty much brand new. Um, I have a little go-kart here with a one-cylinder engine and a two-speed transmission. Uh, that's pretty much it. It's a pretty simple build, but it's actually it's pretty cool. So you can start it up. Obviously, I got steering on this. Throttle works. And then... So you can see the two gears right there. The two blue gears and the two green gears. Uh, the two blue gears are first gear. And then the two green gears are actually second gear. So I'm going to kind of zoom in on the, the gears. I'll go over here. So I'm going to shift into first. And then second. Then they can slow down, downshift into first. That's pretty cool. Um, this is like the most advanced building, honestly, I've ever seen in a sandbox game, which is really cool. Especially the fact that you can build crazy kinds of engines. Um, let me actually spawn a couple of my builds real quick. At least the engine builds that I've made so far. Okay, so right here I have my inline two. This is the first one that I tried to go ahead and build. As soon as I loaded up, I was like, all right, I want to build an engine. I don't want it too crazy, but this is basically what I came out with, just a little two-cylinder. Uh, it's actually an alternator, which is really cool because you can actually charge your whole system with the, with the alternator and power your battery or start or whatever. So it's pretty cool, actually. So I'll go ahead and start this one up. So, as you might be able to tell, the amount of cylinders and the way you have them configured, so like if you have a, a V2 or a two-cylinder inline, it actually sounds different from each other. So like that engine sounds different from this one. Um, it's pretty cool actually. So this is a little inline two that I built. It's just on a little engine stand. Um, I'm going to go ahead and start this one up real quick. You can hear that they sound way different. That's what this one sounds like. Now we'll go ahead and switch over to this one. It's kind of hard to tell because the alternator does actually make sound when it's turning, but actually if I turn it off, no, it doesn't make a difference. Never mind. Um, but yeah, no, the uh, alternator actually makes sounds, but either way, it does definitely sound different. So that's that two cylinder. Let me go ahead and shut both these off. Okay, so, here's my V8. I'm gonna go ahead and actually freeze that one. Okay, so yeah, V8, um, it's fairly simple, but this one runs really good, and it sounds sick, actually. So you can definitely tell that the amount of cylinders, um, and the way that they're configured actually does make a difference in terms of sound, which is pretty sick. Like, to me, that just sounds super cool. It sounds like almost a, a diesel. And this thing actually has a pretty solid amount of power. I just have yet to actually use this in something. But, I don't know. I just wanted to show you guys my um, my little testing on the, um, the, new, the new updates for engines. Um, I don't know. I've... This is really cool to me, so like, being able to actually make something mechanically true with an engine, a transmission, differential, this doesn't have a differential, but you know what I mean. Um, I don't know, this is just all really super cool to me, so. Uh, yeah, that's it, just a quick little video just to show off my, my couple builds here. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Um, feel free to drop a like, you know, comment your thoughts on this update, because I think it's actually super cool. And uh, yeah, I'll talk to you guys later.